families, uh, we have had some parents calling in to say that they're having a hard time submitting assignments. So I wanted to give you a quick tutorial of a way that you can submit your student's assignment without having to print any of the paperwork. Um, the first thing you'll want to do is sign into your student's Pasco Connect. And you'll come up to My Learning. And because I'm a kindergarten teacher, I'm going into a kindergarten course. We toggle it so it look, should now look like the students look. So one of the biggest problems we've had with the submitting assignments is with assignments that look like this. Um, these were downloaded from uh, Florida Virtual School for the students to access during this time. And I know we've had a lot of usage on the site, so it might take just a minute to load up. All right, now one important thing is remember in the tutorial they tell us as we're doing this, we don't hit the next here, we hit the next with the green arrows. So your student is going to read through and then read through. And there's all things here if you watch the other tutorials it'll show you how to access all of this. All right, so we get to our lesson summary. They have a little game they can play here with matching. So you know you're towards the end of the lesson. You don't want to keep going and going and going because you're going to take it into tomorrow's lesson. So we're going to go into big or small. And here is our PDF. Now, at this point, you cannot do anything with it. So you're going to want to hit download. I like to download my things to my desktop so I know exactly where they are. So I'm going to hit save. And when I make this small, there it is right there, big or small. Up here, we have a little toolbox. And when we open that toolbox, we start to get all this. We can write words, we have shapes, we can do text, signatures, lines, all sorts of cool stuff. So, and I know with different age levels, this might be hard, but I think once they get used to it, they'll be better than us. So this assignment has us saying that we need to circle objects that appear small in the picture and draw a box around the objects that appear big in the picture. So let's see. Get my little pen here, and I'm gonna circle it. And it did the automatic funny thing. I'm gonna just do, click it right there. I'll do that again. Oh, this is a small guy, I'm small. And now I don't want a filled in circle. I want that little circle I drew right there. And this guy's really big, so we're going to do that. And there are other things in this picture that your student could have drawn on, picked, but we're gonna move on to the next assignment or the next page of the assignment, I should say. So I know the objects that are big are. Well, that moose was pretty big. So I'm gonna get my text box and I'm gonna move it right here. And I know this part's gonna be a little hard because in kindergarten, we want them to stretch things out. So they might say moose like moose mm and leave it at that. That's okay. So we have a moose. OCD, I need to fix that. And you can go down to the next page and continue to fill out what the objects that are that are small. Then all you need to do is file and save. That's it. So when you go back into your course, clicking right back over here, I'm going to click this off. I already did that. Now I can hit that gray next button. And I can go to submit assignment choose file and there that was the last thing I worked on you can see the little shapes and you're gonna open that and you're gonna hit submit and that is as easy as um, I, I can show you if you guys have questions um, my email is jdavidso at pasco.k12.fl.us I hope this little tutorial was helpful and you guys can get to submitting your assignments. Have a great day.